Hi everyone, it's Marcy Denning here from Stampin' with Marcy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada and I sell all of the fabulous Stampin' Up! products that I share with you today. So if you're um, coming to me for the first time, let me say thank you and welcome. I'm so happy you are here. Um, if you are a regular viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I truly do appreciate it. Uh, this is my full-time business and um, I truly do appreciate all of the support that you all give me. Today is Thursday, November 7th. I just had a little bit of a pause there. Um, it's Thursday, November 7th and it is exactly one o'clock. Yay, I am on time. <laughs> Um, I don't know about you, but I am finding it very hard to, um, adjust to this fall back. I am sleepy this week. I'm finding that it's very, um, hard to get things accomplished as this, uh, fall back has really, um, messed with my sleep cycle. I'm a terrible sl sleeper to begin with, but, um, yeah, just throw in this fall back and it's an hour earlier than what your body's telling you it is it's yeah so anyway i hope you're having a fabulous week today is my awesome brother-in-law bob's birthday happy birthday bob they are um going to see a football game this weekend so i hope that they have a lot of fun um yeah so i have another fun card to share with you using the fabulous Christmas time is here suite of products um, only this time I made it into a thank you card I want to show you guys how you can use these products for more than just what they um, are marketed for meaning that if it's a if this is come out as a Christmas uh, suite of products but you can use it for birthday thank you whatever you want uh, you just don't put the Christmas sentiment on it. So I am going to flip the camera around and we are going to get crafting. So hold on just one moment while I flip my camera. I'm going to do that. So you're going to look out my window. It is snowy here today in southwestern Ontario. We woke up to um, a lot of snow. It was not very nice let me tell you I was like oh no please I'm not ready yet but it is what it is so I'm just adjusting here okay that was pretty seamless I think so when you stop by please sharing is caring um it is the way that I reach new team members, customers, crafty friends. So I truly do appreciate that. Um, if you are on watching on YouTube, this will be on my YouTube channel on Saturday. So please click the subscribe button below um, and the bell notification so that you will get notified for every um, new video I have posted. So let me just see if I can't get this a little bit more after I went and jinxed, my, jinxed myself by saying that it was pretty seamless. I don't want my stand showing. I want you to see my table and what I'm crafting, not my Archon base. Okay. I think that's better. All right, so um, the Christmas time is here sweet. So this suite um, has two, uh, two different stamp sets, your dies, your designer series paper, um, and your gold glitter enamel dots and your gold shimmer ribbons. So today we are using the Christmas time is here designer series paper. And I am using the little dots that are supposed to be the berries for in the um, stamp set, but I'm not using them for berries. I also wanna tell you that the paper trimmer is now available. It is in my online store. It is $34, that is a fabulous price. So um, 
Be sure to pick yours up today if you are in need of a new paper trimmer. I love it so much that I ordered one on my pre-order and then once it became available on November 1st and I put in an order, I uh, placed another order for another one that, I'm just gonna adjust this, it's still not there. Um, I placed an order for a second one and so it is in my going to be in my um, classroom so that my uh, lovely ladies that attend my classes will be able to uh, use it, um, see it, play with it, and get used to it. So yes, that's how much I love my new paper trimmer. All right, and then next up, my fourth annual Creative Escape is January 25th, 2020. So message me for more details. I am um, almost full and I haven't even had a chance to send out my newsletter yet about this. It's been very busy. I've been getting ready for on stage. I actually will share with you today. I haven't shared up until this point um, as I was very nervous, but I've had a very good rehearsal and I was able to submit all of my stuff. I can tell you that I was asked to be a presenter at on stage. So I'm going to be in Toronto at the um, Toronto lo location for on stage for Stampin' Up. So um, if you are a Stampin' Up demonstrator and attending the Toronto location, please say hi to me and if you're watching my presentation please be kind i am very nervous getting up in front of 500 plus people is a little nerve-wracking even though i am so super passionate about what i do um, and i'm used to doing weekly lives but looking out into a crowd of my peers is a little bit more daunting than um, talking to you guys here in my room so on to the next thing. Today is the Creating Kindness Design Team's blog and uh, video hop. A few of us do videos with our uh, creations and this month's theme is Fancy Fold. So I created a double Z card, as you can see. So this is on my blog and on my YouTube channel right now using the Frosted Foliage uh, stamp set and um, designer series paper. This is a beautiful um, suite of products. So be sure to check that out. Um, see what all of the rest of the design team members have created. So on to today's card. I have used the Whisper White note cards and envelopes. And uh, as you can see, I've decorated the envelope as well. Again, the designer series paper, and then this little, the dots are what, um, if you take a look at the stamp set, they are what you're supposed to use in here for your holly berries. However, I use them for just a little bit of the um, gold glitz um, sp sparkle on the front of my card, and I've put some on the inside. Now, I checked this morning, we are not carrying the Delicata inks, um, carrying on with them. They are, this one here, the Golden Glitz is on low inventory, meaning as soon as it is sold out, it is sold out. They're having a lot of problems with the delivery date of back orders in that. So in Stampin' Up! stands by their products. Um, good service, uh, excellent products that they want to stand behind and when they have issues like um, availability and that for certain things, um, they have decided that it's not they're not carrying these this over. So if you have not picked up your Delicata um, pigment inks, the golden glitz, the um, silvery shimmer, um, I would do it right now because once they're gone, they're gone. So today's card uses the Golden Glitz and then I'm also using the Cherry Cobbler. 
one of our um, core colors. And then I have paired it with this a big thank you stamp set. I love sentiment stamp sets. Um, this one has a few images in it, but I mostly use it for my um, thank yous. So now I know some of you don't like to fussy cut. I don't mind fussy cutting. I've told you that before. So I have already started to fussy cut just to cut down on time. So I am going to just come in here and I'm going to show you how I fussy cut. Um, so I'll just start back here and I leave a little halo around my um, image just like a uh, die would do. And I'm just, I'm not taking my scissors off of the page off of the uh, designer series paper, I am moving the paper instead of picking my scissors up off of so that it is a continual cut. Now, Marshall, I forgot to close my door. Marshall, Danielle's cat, has just come in the room. So let's hope that Marshall does not jump up on my table here while I am crafting for you. My girlfriend Diana had uh, commented this morning that she would post a photo showing me what her backyard looks like because I posted a photo of our backyard this morning on my personal page. But she said that she would have to turn or it would let the cold air from her air conditioning out. Diana lives in Arizona. I told her that was making me jealous because... I miss the warm weather and in southwestern Ontario we don't have year-round warm weather. We have snow. The snow is beautiful but it is cold and I'm not ready the beginning of November. I am not ready for winter boots and all that kind of stuff. Yesterday when I was getting my snow tires put on. I went for a walk and I had my winter coat and hat and mitts on. I was walking while my tires were getting done instead of sitting there because if I've got an hour to kill, why not get a little bit of exercise? Just bundling up because of the cold. So, have you guys gotten any of these uh, products from this suite yet? I love them. This paper is so gorgeous, and I love that they have given us four sheets of each double-sided pattern um, so that for classes or for mass-producing lots of Christmas cards, you've got um, more than just your two sheets that would normally be in that package which is pretty awesome if you ask me and yesterday the was it yesterday yes today is thursday yesterday they announced the stampin up or was that even tuesday my goodness my week i had two classes on tuesday so i can't remember which day it was that they posted stampin up posted there it was like the oscars for Stampin' Up, they posted their um, Global 100 and the each country that Stampin' Up is in, their top, um, the leaders. So congratulations to all those amazing demonstrators that have placed in the Global 100. My good friend Diana placed, she was 62, so way to go, Diana. I am still a fairly small demonstrator, so I have not even made a blip yet on that Global 100. But I am so happy for my friends that are working so incredibly hard and have placed Pretty amazing feet. Oops. And as you can see, 
it's just the one piece see that I mean it's not perfect there are a few little edges there but you can then come in and just take your scissors and make that take that corner off to make it just that little bit rounder now I think I've told you before I do have little bit of an advantage when it comes to fussy cutting out because I am actually a licensed hairstylist. I have held a license for um, over 30 years, although I don't do hair anymore. Stampin' Up! is my full-time job. Um, but yes, yeah, so that is why I don't mind cutting because it used to be my career was cutting hair. So, okay, so we're going to move this aside now. And now we are going to come in and fold and burnish that edge. So here we go. And because we are photopolymer, I'm bringing in my, my paper piercing mat and I've got just a scrap piece of um, paper. And I'm going to ink up my little dots here and I'm gonna add a few to the inside and then we'll just set that aside now we've got fuzzies and cat hair all over the house All right, so I am going to ink up my heartfelt gratitude. Stamp off right there. I'm not liking the way that's looking. There we go. Okay. Making sure that my cardstock is straight and stamping it down in the bottom right hand corner. Oh, and that is a little crooked, but that is okay. It's hard to stamp straight when you are not directly over top of your project. Okay, before I start stamping, what I like to do is lay down because this is a big image that's going to be covering my card front. So I like to lay it down so that I can then visualize whereabouts I want these pretty little um, dots, golden dots, to be coming out from behind. So it's coming out from behind to kind of highlight. Um, so I know that I don't need to place any right there in the center of this area here. So. I'm just and then I will come up and um, take a look at what my placement is once I'm done and I will take a little peek and see do I need to add one or two more it's easier to do that after you've gotten quite a few on there so see I'm gonna just take a look and then I know I want to have a few more right here just to fill that in see I like that look so then I think I want a few more here and here and because they're dots, they can totally overlap. It's okay. Oh, that's looking very pretty, but I want just a couple coming out here. Okay. What do you think? Do you think it needs, I think it needs right in this area here.
Yes. Okay. I think we're good. So let's put a lid on that. Now, if you already own this, um, a little helpful tip to keep the ink at the top of your pad so that um, when you're going to stamp that it's not all sunk down in. I store them upside down like this. This is how I store my Memento ink pad as well, upside down so that the ink is at the top of the ink pad. Just a little helpful tip, tip for you there. Okay, so now I'm gonna move this to the side and bring in my silicone craft sheet. You know how I love that. Keeps all that glue from getting all over my grid paper. And because this takes a couple uh, moments to dry, I'm just gonna bring this back in. I'm gonna just flip it upside down so that I can press to get that glue all smooshed down in without smudging my um, ink all over the place. Because that would not be good. that again for my base just give it a little press there okay and now put my lid on my glue and let's get some of these dimensionals on now you know how I like my dimensionals oh there's a cat hair stuck to that I'm sure my recipient doesn't want some cat hair. I think I need one more over in this area. I don't like it to be saggy. Okay, so look at that. All right, so that's the way it's going to go with that little rose popping up to the top. Now we are coming up to the 10th of the month. So that is the cutoff date for the um, paper pumpkin. So if you want to uh, order the November paper pumpkin kit, which will be tags that coordinate with the uh, October paper pumpkin kit, then you need to have that order placed by the 10th. And then we wanna make sure that we're over far enough that um, it's going to fit inside your card. And there we have it. What do you guys think? So this is today's card, and this is the one that I had created previously. And then my previous one, I've got my um, rose stamped on the envelope. So thank you so much for uh, stopping by today. I truly do appreciate it. Um, remember that anything you need, please pop on over to my blog and hit the uh, Shop Now button. Um, I truly do appreciate all of the um, support that I get from you. I have a fabulous uh, customer pink rewards program. I have a few uh, sent out a few emails this week to my lovely customers telling them that a uh, few of them that they had earned their rewards and to please let me know what they would like for free as a thank you for shopping with me. So um, all of the uh, products will be listed as well as the photos on Saturday's blog post. So thank you so much for stopping by today and uh, giving me a few moments of your time. I do appreciate it, and I hope you have a fabulous weekend.
Bye for now.